I got new glasses. Oh, look at those. Boom. Look at them. I got two new pairs. Okay, I got red ones, which I will be showing sometime. I got burgundy. They're burgundy. Then I got these ones. And my camera's crooked. But these ones, I feel like like crazy cat lady or something, right? Well, the other ones I feel like are really studious, but you guys won't be seeing the other ones until, well, you'll probably see them in my vlogs. So, if the lighting looks weird, I apologize, but we're gonna go with it. Hi everybody, it's me, Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maddie, and I post videos every Monday. Yep, I, I still don't have an intro, I apologize, but... I still don't have an intro. I, I'll try and make one. Um, anyway, so today I'm doing the end of the year book tag. It isn't November when I'm filming this, but it's going up in November, so we're going to go with it. The original creator of this tag is Ariel Bissett, so I'll leave a link down below to her original video. And uh, she has a, she was, she had a, the, uh, sponsored video for Glasses USA and I just got new glasses not from Glasses USA but new glasses nonetheless so coincidental yeah probably but it's still fun to think about okay anyway let's get on to the questions I did do a mid-year book freak out tag which I will leave a link to at the end of this video and also in the description box if I remember so first question is are there any books you started this year that you still need to finish? And for this, I don't really have any besides the books that I'm currently reading, but those will be done. Um, I can't think of any. I did DNF some books, but I've been they've been going over. Like, I had one that I started in 2018, and I had one I started back last August that I finally DNF this year. I do want to go back to the one I started in August, but not before the end of this year, so... Yeah, and the other books I didn't get this year, I'm just, I'm not coming back to. So, no, I do not have any books I started this year that I need to finish. Next up is, do you have an autumnal, which I hate the word autumnal. So, I, I, so many people say it at the beginning of, sep, like at the end of September, beginning of October in YouTube videos. And they're just like, autumnal, autumnal, autumnal. And I'm just like, oh my god, I hate that word. And they're like, autumnal is such a great word. And I'm like, I don't agree with that. Anyway, do I have a an autumn book to transition into the end of the year? No, I don't, but I could give some books that I guess I could count as transitional. I don't really understand this question. Um, I think one book that's kind of like a Christmassy feel, and I don't know why I get a Christmassy feel from this book, but I feel like this is like a book you read like in December, and like you just like, like wintry vibes. That is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I haven't read this yet, and so I feel like just like the cover, first of all, kind of gives me like Christmas wintry vibes, and it just sounds like a book that you would read during the winter season. I don't know why. I don't, this isn't an autumn one, but yeah, winter. I have a book for that. The next question is, is there new, is, is there a new release you are still waiting for? And we, we, we. So, checking my calendar. Yes, okay. The 17th of November, Unlocked by Shannon Messenger comes out. And I am so freaking pumped for it. Um, I, my granny and I read the first Keep of the Lost Cities book in April, like at the end of April. Uh, and I dropped my phone. But it was so good and we binged the entire series. And they're not all good, but I'm very excited for Unlocked because Keefe's point of view is in there and as I keep telling my granny, if you, in YA, if you have two point of views and there is a romantic love interest, you, there is a very high chance that these two characters are gonna date if they're not related in any way, like by siblings or by blood there's a very good chance that they're going to date. And so the fact that Keefe's point of view is in Unlock just makes it official that So Keefe is happening. It's official. So, 
it's official and I'm so excited. So the next question is three books you want to read before the end of the year. Now, I'm trying not to do books that are on my TBR. I honestly don't usually set TBRs, but these books I don't think I'm going to get to. I mean, I might be surprised and get to them, but I don't think I'm going to get to them. Uh, well, I'm going to get to Unlocked. I'm putting Unlocked on here, okay, because I want to read it before the end of the year. I'm going to read it before the end of the year. I'm, I'm at least going to make, make sure I get a 33% for this question, okay? The next one is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto. I want to read this book before the end of this year because I would love to read the webtoon graphic manga novel um, next year and I want to read this in this year so I can like read it next year even though I could read the book twice in the same year I kind of you know don't want to do that could read challenges too kind of difficult but um, maybe. I've never read the same book twice, so I actually don't know. But that's one reason why I really want to get to it this year, but I don't think I'm going to. I guess we'll have to see what De what December brings, but I really want to read this just because I would love to read the webtoon novel, graphic novel thingy. Um, and then I also have Maya and the Rising Dark by Rana Barron. This was one of my most anticipated books of 2020, and I feel like I own it now. Like, it's in my possession. I should read it while I have it, because I already have it, so there's no excuse for me not reading it before the end of 2020, so I would like to get to it. We're just, we're, we're gonna have to see, so, yeah. Probably won't get to either of these, but a girl can hope. <laughs> okay, the next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become a favorite book of the year? I don't know, because um, I don't know what books I'm gonna be reading at the end of the year, you know? I might read my most popular book of 2020 in 2020 instead of putting it off into January of 2021, but I still don't know what book that could be. I have an idea for it being The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because that is so popular on booktube so it makes sense, but I don't want to read it, which is why I'm trying to find another book for the most popular book of 2020 and I just can't do it. Um, so I can't really think of anything else because I don't know what's on my TBR. I mean, Unlocked could end up being a 5 out of 5. It won't be, like, a favorite book of the year. If I had to pick one book right now that would be my most, like, on my top number one, I don't think I could do it. Um, I don't know. Because I haven't given a lot of books 5 star this year. And I'm surprised. Like, I gave a lot of books 5 star when I first started reading because everything was great. Um... But yeah, I can't think of anything that would become like, a, a, like the number one spot. I might give Unlocked 5, but I don't know if I would make it a favorite. So, yeah. And the final question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Yes, I have. I already have my Goodreads goal in mind. I'm scared. It is a big jump from 2020 uh, and 2019 and 2018. So it's a very, very big jump. But I do already have in mind that goal. And then I also have in mind a reading vlog where I'm going to be reading the entire uh Witcher series because I need to read those books before the second season comes out and I have been putting it off because they don't call my interest but I want to read all the books before the next season comes out so I'm thinking of trying to like read them all like in a month which is seven books in one month uh it's doable. It's doable. I just have to like sit down and actually really try. So if you guys want to do like a, if any of you, if any of you want to do a buddy read where we both binge the Witcher books together, uh, DM me on Instagram. We can talk. We can talk about it. I'd love. To, I definitely would like to like. T yeah, be interested. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the end of the year book tag. I had a lot of fun except I didn't really have any answers to a lot of the questions. So oopsies but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because i post videos on this channel every single monday and so and i'm also posting uh weekly vlogs on friday for the month of november because it's Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, like I said, do all the things I already said. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everybody.